this channel. I was a baby. Uh, I was just so insecure. I had no self-esteem, no self-worth. And then there's friggin' beat-em-ups, this cuck, this piece of trash who comes on YouTube and cries to children. I want you to realize that, beat-em-ups, that you're acting like a cucked incel on YouTube, crying about depression when 99% of your audience are children and teenagers. What's a child and a young teenager gonna do to help some friggin' middle-aged 30-year-old friggin' man-baby with a long friggin' Australian Fabio hair with a stupid porn beard that you got on? What are kids gonna do to help you you know why because you're a selfish prick you're a piece of trash that's gonna do anything you can to make yourself look like the victim to try to get any type of handout from kids and teenagers you're pathetic you're pathetic you're one of the worst human beings on planet earth then you got your little feelings hurt on YouTube and on Twitter, right? Someone said something about your wife and this and that, which everyone's friggin' roast each other on YouTube anyways. My whole channel is a roast channel, and you're sitting there saying, oh, I just got my feelings hurt, and I'm gonna run a charity right now, and that's the uh, tricks on you there. Tricks on... Shut up. All right, you're a sack of crap that's freaking using kids' freaking emotional freaking feelings to freaking ask their mommies for their credit card so they can donate stuff to you. That's why you, when Gerard the Completion and Fat, fat Lard with his stupid charity scam came out, what did you do, beat em ups? You sat there on Nintendo, the Nintendo pot. Wow, you're so clever. Let's just call it Nintendo instead of Nintendo. Why? Because you know that Nintendo's gonna come right after you if you ever steal their name. Have you guys noticed? on this guy's thumbnails on the Nintendo podcast the friggin logo of his goddamn channel is the same red color as the Nintendo official channel and this piece of trash puts Nintendo podcast on the top left of his thumbnails I have a PO box because I made one back when I have a thousand subscribers because I know that these people are sending stuff to me and we get to make each other happy and happiness is so goddamn important while Nintendo puts it on the top right. Wow, you're so you're such a genius. You're stealing other people's style now and you're trying to click you're such a clickbaiter that you're even trying to trick people into thinking you're the official Nintendo thing when you're not. You're you're a bunch of you're, you're some loser with some cucked partner that you have doing friggin' homoerotic sexual fantasies on on that stupid couch you sat at while you're inter, inter uh, interviewing Gerard the fat lard. He friggin' ruined your couch cushions and you're sitting there going, Oh Gerard, you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, Gerard, you did not friggin' hold uh, that much money for 10 years at your stupid little friggin' fast food account. Yes, he did, beat him ups because you knew if the story came out that all these YouTubers are fraud charity raisers, that it's going to come right after you. That's why you friggin' did damage control nonstop, and then later on, you found out it's not going to stop on Gerard. Then you made a little damage control video saying, oh, we're going to go back on what we said. Yeah, Gerard did do something bad, and it's our bad. Yeah, it is your bad. It is your bad, beat him ups the same way that when you were a nobody on YouTube, what did you do, beat em ups? You went around to bigger YouTubers asking them if you can stay at their place, maybe ask for some sport, maybe eat some breakfast in your skinny, scrawny, twerpy body that you freaking carry around. And then after you got big, then you freaking left all those YouTubers in the dust. That's you, beat em ups. That's how much of a selfish prick you really are deep down inside. Why is it that all these people, the worst people on YouTube are the ones that put this fake persona out there like, oh, I'm just some, I'm just some innocent YouTuber trying my hardest, uh, and then you have some sob story about your your parents not liking you whatever oh big deal your parents spanked you once in a while and they said something bad about you that doesn't mean you're gonna beat em ups is an kissing opportunistic fraud that's the video that's it just you could just stop it here cry like a little freaking bee Arch on YouTube to children. You're crying to children and you're asking them for support. You're pathetic. And, and I heard that you said that you were in depression and that your wife or the girlfriend at your time got you out of depression. How much of a cuck are you that you need a freaking female to get you out of depression? It's called go out there and get a job. Go out there and be a man for once in your life. Go out there and face the world like every other man faces the world right now instead of sitting there asking for some sympathy from your girlfriend, freaking rubbing your freaking long hair and patting you on the head you are a pathetic incel friggin beat em ups and then there's a story 
of this piece of trash beat him up's going to E3, right? He went to E3 and he thought he was some hot shot walking around with his stupid little friggin' clothes and his dumb little friggin' Switch collection. He's going around E3 talking to developers and the developers are looking at this guy like, who the hell are you? Why are you even here? Do you even know anything about games? Are you even a gamer? They friggin' made friggin' this piece of trash beat him up's cry, started sobbing, started getting all butt hurt because none of the developers knew who you were. No one cares who you are, friggin' you prick why why is it always these people with british and australian accents that think they're just better than the rest of the world they have this sort of sort of like oh i'm this posh guy and i speak in a very sophisticated way and since i talk like this you're gonna listen that's an actual fact you're a greedy piece of trash and one of the ridiculous stories i just heard in the someone wrote in the comments that this piece of trash beat-em-ups built up courage to go to the supermarket instead of uber dropping everything off right because this guy has anxiety Oh, he has anxiety of being- This is actually an example of that too, because the people that you think are nice, a lot of times, are the worst people behind closed doors. Being around people and in public. So this guy used to get Uber Eats deliveries of friggin' groceries all the time. He finally got the courage to go to the grocery store, and then when he had- and then when he went to the grocery store, this guy said he has a mental breakdown in the middle of the supermarket. Why? Because you're around people? Why? Because you have to do big boy things for once in your life? Why? Because you have to do what friggin' 99% of the rest of the world has to do? You're pathetic. You are a piece of trash that uses emotions to manipulate children, and that's not get to the friggin' clickbait thumbnail you got that going on this sack of crap when the switch pro was gonna come out he's so greedy for adsense he's so greedy for the algorithm he's so greedy to make his money that he clicks bait a switch 2 pro saying oh look in the thumbnail oh look i got it early that puts a stupid little question mark at the end of the title thinking that's okay then we find out later on that it was a freaking aya neo next that he had instead of a switch pro you tricked all the children to freaking click on your stupid little thumbnail and what's your response oh Look how long it takes for me in the video to tell you what the video is really about. It's six seconds. Well, that's guess what? The clickbait's already done. The whole point of clickbait is before the goddamn freaking person clicks on the video. After the video, no one cares. You already got your view. You already got your freaking ad revenue for the one that starts at the beginning, you stupid prick. And then you want to sit there and try to justify it. And then you have the nerve to freaking sponsor energy drinks. Do you know how bad energy drinks are for freaking, uh, Kids, you know that 99% of your audience are kids and you're sitting there like a greedy little prick freaking sponsoring G4 fuel and you're sponsoring what, Bash Energy? Bash Energy is so bad and you're okay with a bunch of kids watching that and maybe getting influenced by you because you're a cock going out there buying that stupid energy drink, ruining their whole innards and ruining their whole brains and all that crap. Thanks a lot, freaking beat em ups. You're, you're Hi, I'm supposed to be on YouTube break right now. It's January, but I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to make a video real quick. Such a swell old guy, huh? You're such a swell old guy. And then you got your stupid little freaking P.O. box going around. You cry on the internet saying, oh my God, I'm getting sent so many things. Oh my God. You make clickbait titles about, uh, videos about it. You have freaking your stupid P.O. box still there. You brag at the fact that you're getting all these items. And at the same time, you're saying, please don't send me these items. No, you want the items. You want the items so you can sell that stuff for more money and buy whatever the hell you do with your stupid little depression pills and anxiety pills and what did you do recently you had some stream on youtube oh i'm gonna play uh legend of zelda wind waker and the chat control controls the stream or something and you're sitting there like a cuck you're not a gamer you're sitting there like an idiot talking all this nonsense to a bunch of kids and now five days ago you make a video oh the new beat em up shaker cup in zelda was that was that all the stream was about so you can market your stupid shaker cup i don't want your stupid shaker cup with two ugly men on the logo on your stupid little freaking shaker cup hey i got an idea for you beat em ups instead of actually charging kids for the shaker cup why don't you send them out for free to their p.o box huh you liked having your own p.o box open so you can get the stuff sell it for money why don't you send it to them in their p.o box for free it's just a shaker cup how much are you charging for that sack of crap there's nothing cool about having a beat em up shaker cup there's nothing 
nothing cool about having any type of item that's friggin' has this guy's ugly, disgusting female face on the goddamn friggin' logo. I don't want it, friggin' stupid prick. And then you have your little Patreon crying there. Your Patreon tiers, $50 tiers, $40 tiers. How much more money do you need? You already have 1.78 million subs and you're still being a greedy pick, prick with your stupid little goddamn Patreon. Take that down. Take off your stupid little friggin' peel box. Stop acting like a cuck on Nintendo Podcast and be real for once, you stupid. We're gonna see the wizard. We're gonna see the wizard. Hey, watch out for oh, the backdrop.